there's really two kinds of vaccines that we can talk about. One is a vaccine to prevent infection, and the other is a vaccine to treat infection. In the setting of preventing infection, because the HIV vir uh, virus targets the same immune cells that, are, that respond to the vaccine, by the time you get an infection, it wipes out your ability to respond to that vaccine. So that is one of the challenges that we have. The second challenge we have is that, like every virus, like SARS-CoV-2, the virus evolves over time. And in the world of HIV, which has been on planet Earth for 40 years, there are countless different strains of HIV that are floating around. And so far, we've been unable to come up with a vaccine that is protective against all of them. So that's why a therapeutic vaccine that doesn't work and that's why a preventative vaccine doesn't work today. The successes we've seen in the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic are driven in very, very large part by the decades of funding and decades of research that went into HIV. And that includes how to make drugs, how to make vaccines, how to treat virus infections, how to monitor virus infections. All of those advances were made because of HIV research and we're reaping the rewards both in HIV, very treatable disease today, but also in terms of SARS-CoV-2 and the pandemic. Our approach to HIV has been first to study how it is that HIV kills the cells that it does kill. And we've spent years doing that and we have some pretty good ideas on how that happens. And understanding that how that happens, now we're trying to, to make it so that when HIV infects a cell, it kills every cell that it infects. And now what you've done is you've converted the HIV with chronic persistence into an influenza-like thing where you get it, you get sick, and then it's gone. And so we have developed a variety of, of pharmacologic approaches using drugs that, that are typically in the cancer arena to try to augment the death of those infected cells. And we have two approaches to doing that. One is to use a drug that's used for CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It is a drug that blocks an anti-death protein. And we know that when we infect cells with HIV in the presence of that drug, more cells die. And so we've shown that in a test tube now, we've shown that using cells from HIV infected patients, and recently we've done some animal model experiments where that holds true. I'm hopeful that these approaches will work. Um, very optimistic that HIV might be cured, and by cured I mean HIV infected patients no longer need to take pills to suppress the virus, and HIV is either gone or functionally gone from the body. And there are multiple groups around the world who are working on multiple different approaches. Ours is one of them. I think the answer will be combining many of these approaches at the same time will one day get to one of those functional cures or, or eradication uh, of HIV.